my marriages uh, fail, but I would say have sex a lot because look, no yeah. one needs another friend. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Welcome, everybody. We are hey coming to you live. Actually, we're not coming to you live. We pre taped mm-hmm. these. Um, I'm traveling this week when this one airs. So this is our pregame. And this is where we get to answer fun viewer questions. Well, meanwhile, Steve, I said to you, do not walk in the background. No, oh, that's it. <laughs> the painters. I've got painters at my house and there's a lot happening oh. here. We will discuss it in length uh, for the P- Calm Down podcast, as you guys know, which airs Thursday. We appreciate you guys submitting questions. This first one, Aaron, comes to us from Anne Marie Bell, who says, how do you manage staying healthy and saving your voice during a long season? Any tips? That's all you, sister, because I've abandoned the healthy part of the portion of the program. Hence the school oh, and stop. nature over here. No, Mm -hmm. no, no. I think a couple of things. You got to make sure you drink your water. Um, I know Chris and I are huge fans of Athletic Greens, which I need to go take. You got to take your vitamins. Um, Another thing, I, when I start feeling crappy, it's, I don't even just mess around with it. I like call a doctor for some help, but I drink a lot of like hot water and lemon on the road because I'm, (laughs) I don't know if I've mentioned this, a kind of a phlegmy gal. So um, yeah. That's kind of my tips of the trade. Big fan of Athletic Greens because I'm lazy about taking vitamins, so it's all in one. And then also, I'd say not an ad, but it is, but it wasn't an ad before it was an ad, thanks to Aaron. Also, hydration packets. Big fan of those liquid IVs. Throw those bad boys in anywhere because I also like to have cocktails on the road. The thing is about Amazon this year, it's like we're with our crew and you end up like going to the dinners and then going out after after the games. And so more cocktails Mm -hmm. consumed than normal. So hydrating is importante. That is mine. Next. Um, I am Taro Burlag. Okay, and I just butchered that. Best advice for newlyweds. Well, I could make a joke right now, but um, I'll tell the joke. Do you want me to take this one? (laughs) I got no advice because I'll. Uh, I got no advice. My best mine, advice mine never is not long. to listen to Carissa. <laughs> Just kidding. No, that is so mean. Um, best advice for newlyweds. <laughs> I don't have any marital advice at all. I really don't. I. That's not true. Yeah. Okay, I'll. I'll. I have again failed in that department. <laughs> We're <laughs> listening. I've. You know, we're all ears. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we can laugh about all things involving sure. this subject because Thank God well, we can laugh about it. We have so much material to work. We are a fabric store over here of material <laughs> to work with when it comes to me and marriage. My God, what length do you but want? I would, I would say, I would say for Aaron, you um you always you're really good about making dinner, like not in this like domesticated house role you have to make dinner. I just think that you like doing that for Jared and you're good about being like, I need to go to the grocery store. I need, is that a no? You're not good at it? No, I feel like you're always I, talking about making things. Making dinner. But I, yeah. we like to do it together because, oh, cute. It, and I, it's just fun. Like he likes to grill, but like, let's be honest. My making dinner is like the pre-made salad. Whipped it up in a bowl really fast. I mean, God, this whole thing is a breeze. Uh, fa breeze. But yeah, I mean, I would say if everybody's really busy all the time, like make nights. Make sure in the week you make a night like that for yourself. I'll say this. Turn off my the ma- TV, get off your phone at my dinner marriage, too. My marriage is a uh, fail, but I would say have sex a lot because look, no one needs another friend. My parents have been married for 42 years and no one needs to know this about their parents. That's so weird. But my mom's always like, you got to take care of your man. I'm like, okay, mom, congratulations on all your success. So yeah, I would say, look, they don't need another friend. You know what I mean? And if you're not doing it, someone else is. And that's a problem. Sure is. That's that's it for the pregame. That's all we have time for. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. (laughs) <laughs> That'll be a conversation for the full length podcast. Next up, Pip 29. Why didn't Aaron just pee in the shower at the hotel instead of in the sink? You know, it's a great Carrie question. Bradshaw? I, I, I know. I just peeing in the shower, that means I'm standing up. I didn't have much time to fully take off my socks and my shoes. I don't know if I was wearing socks and shoes. I was in a full going <laughs> out outfit. So just dropping them and sitting in the sink. That <laughs> seems like a good disgusting. idea. <laughs> seems like a good idea until someone has to wash their face or brush their teeth. <laughs> Gross. 
ew, what was I doing? I had had a <laughs> lot to drink. <laughs> you know what's better than just going in your pants, me or yeah. being in the bed? I mean, by God, you're in the sink. At least you made it to the sink. Next. Exactly. All right. J N Kelly 17, golden retrievers, male or female, wanting to get our first dog oh, ever. Oh, schmoosh, schmoosh. I know. I'm looking at mine right now, my little savior. Um, So I grew up with male, or I grew up with girls, um, oh, but my mom took care of those dogs. They were just our best friends. And then our first dog as a couple has been this little boy who is my love of my life. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong. I've had great experiences with both sexes. So it, yeah. it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, I know. Just be prepared retrievers. for a lot of hair around your house. I it's know. just the way it goes. I know. That's the other. Yeah. I have a male. I mean, I know. I don't know if she's asking about golden retrievers, but I have a male and a female dog, and they did not get along at first. In oh, fact, I didn't yeah. think I could keep Daisy, but they ended up being fine. And I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it makes a difference. Okay, Josh Roth, one favorite Italian dish. What do you got? Um, I'm just like a simple spaghetti gal. Throw a yeah. meatball in there every With now the and then. Yes or no? Yes. Throw a meatball in there. A little protein situation, but yeah. Or sure. cacio de pepo. I don't even know if I'm saying that. Oh. I just like the salt and pepper and like the light cheese. You know, Erin O'Brien, I told you to follow her. Yeah. Um, she's the cute Instagram. If you guys don't know, her name's Erin O'Brien. I don't know if that's her full handle name or whatever on Instagram. But she whips up these little recipes and makes it look so easy. I need to start doing that. But she, she always has a big glass of wine. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is she drinking um, the wine? I need to ask if she's drinking the wine because she's just as cute as can be. And I don't I don't see her doing that, but. Yeah, Whatever. I've done a couple of her recipes. We are watching Finding Italy by uh, on CNN with Stanley Tucci. Um, and I know it's really old and everybody's been watching it already, but it's so great because we love Italy and, and we love food. So it's been kind of fun to Does watch. Does it make you want to eat? Yes, it's so yeah. fantastic. It makes you miss the mozzarella, the olive oil, the tomatoes, all this stuff. It's so fantastic. Fantastic. I would say my favorite Italian dish is um, linguine and clams Ooh. from the Amalfi Coast. No. Wow. Mm -hmm. I never got into that. I like this one. Softball what? mom. One mom. One thing you dread doing each game day, but you have to do it. What's yours? It's a good question. Um, I... I would say I don't dread it, but the working out, like when am I going to fit in working out yeah. around the production schedule? And then if it's an, a West Coast game, then you're going a lot earlier. So I'm going to either yeah. I'm either going to give up sleep or I'm going to work out. And it's one of those things like sometimes you have to pick and I'm like, oh, I'll just sleep instead of working out on this one. I don't know. I think it's the decision between more sleep or working out to be yep. productive. Mm -hmm. I agree, Ski. Um, mine would be getting on a plane right after the game, although I'm excited to get home. It's just hard once you've been up all day to just then get on a plane. You guys join us on Thursday. Calm Down Podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Submit all questions. We see them all and we'll answer them all. You're the best. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.